Hello and welcome to your quick news, current events, and stimulus update. Mitch McConnell is focused on his targeted small relief bill. Donald Trump's legal team is filing more lawsuits. Funding for the government may run out. COVID cases are on the rise. And finally, we'll take a look at what is going on outside the states. And of course, I've had my coffee, so I'm ready to jump right into this. Also, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button to help combat the YouTube algorithm. It makes a huge difference and shows me that I'm doing a good job, shows YouTube that I'm doing a good job. So jumping right in. We've seen some progress with jobs in the last few months with around half of the 22 million jobs lost from the pandemic shutdown having returned. So the K-shaped recovery has seen some progress, but there's still a long ways to go. This recovery, however, has been slowing in the recent past as COVID-19 cases are at new highs in the United States. Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell has taken over further COVID relief discussions as well. Mitch McConnell said, quote, we need to think about if we're going to come up with a bipartisan package here about what size is appropriate. He went on to add, I don't think the current situation demands a multi-trillion dollar package. He's basically saying he's perfectly happy with his little package. I'm sorry, that, that was a little too far. As of now, the hangups that plagued any bill passing between Mnuchin and Nancy's negotiations still remain as Mitch takes over. So it can be expected that Mitch will argue for a $600 billion relief package or somewhere around that while Nancy stands firm at around $2.4 trillion, basically what we've been seeing unless there's some outside forces that influence this further. As the president leaves negotiations up to McConnell, Trump's legal team is filing lawsuits in at least four states as of right now. Michigan lawyer David Fink said any delay to certification could mean missing the ultimate deadline of December 14th when the Electoral College meets to cast its votes. The Electoral College is is wild. It's a wild process, and I have an entire video on that if you want to learn a little bit more about its quirks. I'll have it linked. Back to these lawsuits, though. Trump's team has filed to block election results in Pennsylvania as well. They said that election workers in Chester County were altering overvoted ballots by changing votes that had been marked for Trump to another candidate's name. Amidst the election, pandemic, and stall in negotiations, that $1.4 trillion government spending bill I talked about yesterday will need to get passed as soon as possible for other things to happen. If the government shuts down next month, all hope for any relief being passed before January are slim to none. So as much as we don't want to see focus on something else, it kind of has to happen if we want negotiations beyond that point. We also have to consider the fact that the Capitol has a poor record when it comes to passing legislation during the lame duck session. Republican Senator Roy Blunt said, quote, the best thing you could do to help out the new president was to get this year's work done. Four years ago, I argued that and we didn't get it done. So as you can see, those involved in this every single day do not have high hopes that the government will be able to keep from shutting down come December 11th. Well, leaders try to get their ducks in a row. COVID cases are at an all-time high here in the United States. Yesterday, 145,000 new cases were reported with the number of nationwide hospitalizations topping 65,000 for the first time since the pandemic began. The first cruise ship to resume sailing in the Caribbean since the start of the, the pandemic has popped up with positive COVID-19 tests as well, which doesn't come as a huge surprise. I imagine a cruise ship is basically like a petri dish for this kind of stuff. This comes after a successful summer session in Norway where they reported zero cases. However, it looks like that luck might have just run out. As the cases spike again and the rest of the world enters into more shutdowns, it's going to be interesting to see how how this will light a fire under the U.S. leaders who will hopefully take some action here. So this is it for today, folks. Help me beat the YouTube algorithm again by liking, subscribing, and of course, have a profitable day.